Okay, let's get rolling. It's midnight month. So we're going to be playing Canarium. I know nothing about this game that was gifted to me by Untrusted. And, uh, yeah, I've already checked to make sure that it works right. Seems to. It's it's run by... Oh, I should have changed the background in this game. Oh, well, too late now. But, uh, it's... It's on the Unreal Engine, so... Cool. Let's jump in, get this shit rolling. Okay. Play it cool. I've, I've never heard of Iceberg. That's new to me. Okay, we are here to get spooked. Are you ready to get spooked? Can everybody see everything okay? I'm setting up my uh, my wrist rest. I'm jumping in blind. <laughs> like, the only thing I know about this game is Untrusted seemed to like it. Uh, and sent it my way for this kind of shit altogether. Actually, for a mystery hour. But, uh, the other thing that I know is that, uh, one of my friends has also played this, but I haven't asked her about it. And something about dead eyes? I don't know. Navigate. Trophies. Okay, what kind of options we got? So, this is something that I was trying to do. I was trying to calibrate... Uh, I was trying to calibrate my gamma so it's a little brighter than normal. Like it's 60%, right? And check this out. It resets to 50 on my way out. No, I want 60%. And it resets to 50. Why is this option here if it's not going to let me do anything? What? Okay, subtitles on, language English. Inverted access off. I'm good with up and down. Alright, look sensitivity. I might change this. Silent mode off. Silent mode main character avoids making additional comments throughout the game in order to provide a more immersive experience. Oh. Oh no. This is version 1.0.0.6. That's a low version. This game's been out for a while, right? Oh, jeez. Am I peeking? You guys need to tell me when I'm peeking. All right, credits cancel, apply changes. I made no changes to this whatsoever. We're gonna be using keyboard, so game controls. Quick save and quick load, F5 and F6, that's good to know. Previous slot and next slot, I... Mm -hmm. uh, wads to move, control to crouch, shift to run, everything here, toggle torch, F. J for journal. C for equipment, space for inventory, no jump I see. Alright, alright. It appears to be an apply button. Yeah, no, I tried that. Check, check this out. There we go. Oh, okay. Shut up, you. <laughs> alright, let's jump in. Can you stand the horror? All life is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings.
okay, we'll just jump, we'll just turn into it. Uh, here, everything's f fuzzy. Am I underwater? Can't hear the game sound anymore. Uh, or me? What? You know what? I think you're muted on Trusted because everything's showing up great on this end. I don't know. You'll figure it out. Uh, okay. This is normal. Everything here is normal. We are normal people. No more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. We would undo it. Dr. Faust, is that you? I sleep in my gloves. My watch is neat. Uh, okay, I'm going with Inventor. Uh, ah! Oh, my head! Ah, the pain! It is unbearable! Subsiding. I thought my head was about to explode. Grasp it's too dark. To be safe, I better find a light source. Press escape for video game controls. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. I, it's not. I don't want to call that a tutorial so much as a. Hey, fuckhead. Here are the controls. Check that out when there are lights. Actually, are there lights? Uh, surely I wouldn't keep. What the? What am? What am I doing here? This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. Yes, that's what ears are. What? 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 What is happening here? What? We've got a light point. That's got the. Okay, the the light. I need the, I need that. I need that. Give me that. All right, much better. What the hell was this sort of here? It's a compass. Okay. Uh, what is this? Antediluvian shamanism. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of large words in that. Yeah, yes, yes, I read, I read it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey. Of nightshade and beyond. Well, that's actually nightshade. There's some seeds and some kind of ritual stuff. Things are very dark. Yes. Oh, what do we got here? Upuat, Upuaut, and Arctican expedition. I do not know enough history to know why or that is significant. But whatever this thing is, it's got a huge transformer and a single two-prong. What is this? Is this England? Because American outlets aren't like that. Have you read much Lovecraft? This is nothing to do with the Mountains of Madness. Alright, the, the... 
Oh, no, no, no. This is the wrong, wrong one. This... Okay, there is an Antarctic uh, expedition. I do not remember it being at the... Uh, what is this? Upuaut. Which I think is an Inuit word. That, that would be the North Pole, not, not the South Pole. About 30% to 50%. Oh, you're talking to Doomlight. Okay. Let's get, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, where's Door? There is Door. Oh, nice. That's the original Elder Sign. I don't remember where the current one came from. It wasn't Lovecraft. I don't even think he got a chance to adopt it. Hello? Anybody here? Okay. Where is everybody? Maybe they're in the radio room. Did you hear that? Old. I played it. I know what to do, lol. Show off. Hey, it's an elder thing. <clears throat> uh, familiar visits to the lower chamber once more. <coughs> In the form of a black cat. Its spectral image echoes throughout the seven rooms. What sin called it out from its hollow, looming, dim, and ghost-like. Yeah, yes, thank, thank you. Uh, what's this? From Nikolai Henson. Expected snowstorm. Strong snowstorm is expected to hit us for the next two weeks. This is the utmost, ah, it is in the utmost important to, to take all cautionary measures and inform responsible personnel when going outside. Please be aware that the radio connection between the base and the ship may not be available during this peri period. I mean, like, some, was somebody watch? Let's see if they're in the radio. Locked. Hmm. Looks like we're having a power problem right now. It's a power lock? Oh, journal. I have a journal entry. Yo! No electricity. I found that the, oh, Upuatu Arctic Antarctic Expedition Base has been enveloped in darkness, and some appliances have, are not functional due to the power outage. Why has no one attended to the problem so far? Where is everyone? Okay. So I'm in Antarctica. Of course there's a snowstorm in Antarctica. <clears throat> oh. Auxiliary power needs to be enabled manually from outside. Oh, brilliant. I got a great idea, guys. Let's go to a place completely inhospitable to humankind and then make all of the important items accessible only from outdoors. Ever watch From Beyond? Yes. Imagine mixing that with the Mountains of Madness in the Nameless City. Spoilers! Really? Nameless City? Stop those bloody sessions. Uh, John DeWitt, of course. Attention for the crew members who are having sleeping problems. Examinations conducted, during, conducted regarding the increase of the accidents recently happening led me to believe that the reason behind those in some, is some kind of intense cabin fever. Symptoms of the problem, insomnia, and inability to sleep. Thank you, I know. Strong headaches, seeing visions and hearing voices. Crew members who suffer from the above symptoms are needed to refer to me personally for the checkups. Or for thorough checkups. This will also be the main topic of a general meeting that will be held tomorrow for lunch. This issue poses serious problems regarding the safety of life and sustenance of work. So must be taken, taken heed soberly. 
Medical practitioner. Uh, do it. No, no, don't show, don't show me. Better keep find. I better find the crew members. I woke up from the serious, blurry nightmare, isolated inside these somewhat foreign walls. In one of my pockets, I found an empty notebook, which I am writing my notes. Oh, this is an empty notebook. Why do? Why did I have an empty notebook? You know how hard it is to get one of those things in Antarctica. I can't remember anything other than there should have been others here with me. The names Doctor Faust and Doctor Dewitt are lingering in my mind now. Additionally. Trying to develop deeper into thoughts give me sharp pains in my already throbbing head. Throbbing! I better... <laughs> I better find a crew member and find out what's going on here as soon as possible. Okay. Well, I wandered this far. Let's see what's going on on the other side. Uh, looks like melt... Whoop. Okay, I thought I saw something. Hmm. What is this? Okay. We're the Upuaut expedition in Antarctica. Fragile, keep dry. I don't see anything interactable here. Uh, okay. No, no point flailing around. Let's go to the original. I can. Ooh, I can run. I can dance, baby. Um. Can't see a damn thing out there. This designs look Native American and Arabic. Probably just Arabic. <laughs> Weather notice. Snowstorm is expected to hit. I think we already read this. Yes. Yes, we did. Oh! Oh, Jesus, it's cold! Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, mm. Well, I need to turn on the, uh, I need to turn on the air, con air conditioner window unit. So, oh, cool, there's, somewhere is thingamajig or something or other. Hey, you know what I don't notice out here? Windows. I, there were an awful lot of windows where I was. Uh, hmm. Am I missing something back there? I feel like I am. Well, hopefully I'll be able to come back at some point. Oh, wow, it's cold. My mind is cloudy. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the Upper Water Antarctic Base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. Wind sounds like screaming. That's always a good sign. Okay, okay. Let's, let's fix a couple of things. Excuse me a second. Okay, resolution. That's fine, whatever. Borderless full screen. We'll deal with that later. Anti-aliasing off. Oh my god. Okay, how about low then? Uh, post effects. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Motion blur. Oh my god. Resolution scale. Sure. Vertical sync. Nah. Apply changes. Sorry. Motion blur... Uh, I, I don't like it. I also don't like anti-aliasing for a different reason, because I think it's wasted uh, I think it's wasted CPU resources or, uh, I'm sorry, video card resources but I really hate motion blur. It it never works in my opinion, so Oh, hey, here we go I wonder what I just did. Come on. There we go. Am 
I the monster? Is that why they locked this up? Lol, what am I doing? Tank is empty. That would be one reason. This hose was tampered with. Why would anybody shut off the power here? Even during an emergency, we want the power rolling. Well, let's start with that. Oh, Jesus, I thought that was a human hand. Okay. The strange device was already on my left arm when I came around to the meeting room in Upawatu. Op op the U. The UAB. I'm just going to call it the UAB from now on. The UAB. It comes to no surprise that I don't remember anything about it. Lovely. A torture found during the meeting room, which means I'm British. A jerry can, which makes me old school British. The motion blur is annoying. But it is good for stuff like power lines and chicken wire. What? Trophy items. <laughs> I haven't found any yet. LP in the tank. Now I need to fix the lines. Let's see what I can find around here. The fancy leather version of the power glove. It's so bad. Oh, hey, tape. Let's see if I can fix the line with that. I don't know where I got the rest of the hose, but there we go. Try now. Can I? But I heard something. Locked. That's okay. Okay, let's try it again. power. And a spare door? I got an achievement just now called Sparky. Okay, let's try this again. Woof. Hey, DJ. Waiting for the killer clown. I, I don't think we're going to do... Whoa, what am I looking at? <laughs> I just looked away from the screen for a second. How's how you doing, DJ? Hey, we've got uh, power. Oh, okay. Coming for you, fucker. Okay, I, pro I was probably supposed to be afraid. What was that? Not what? It was who? Why would you say what? It's clearly a who. Okay. This thing is self-powered, I guess. This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. Speaking of resonation, we have a, uh, I don't know, looks like peanut butter and whatever this thing is. Knew more about it. There's nothing else on in here? Damn rabbit hole, man. I'm afraid to ask. There's a lot of rabbit holes. I'm doing alright. Started drawing again today. I hope oh, that's a good thing. Before I go that way, let's see what's over here. It's stuck. You're stuck. This one's another one that's got an electric lock on it. Before I open any of that, let's keep moving. No, here's that symbol again. 
Okay, I can see sort of where you get the Native American thing from it, but that looks extremely Egyptian. Okay. Well. Somebody knocking? My name? H. Anderson. Uh, Nikolai Gogol, the portrait. Yeah. So when it gave me the option to read, I didn't expect. You know, never mind. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? Oh, am I not? Uh, am I not this guy? Yeah, where is, uh, Mr. Anderson? It's locked. Right. Hey, walkie-talkie. So we're dealing with at least 1970s level technology. Hey, it's DeWitt. Hmm. Locked. Okay, I have two questions. Why do you have so many of these? And how did you stack them in such a way, so carefully, that they would only spill out when I opened this door? If his coat is just right here, where is he now? Oh, I can't close it now because there are so many dolls in the way. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? Hmm. Locked. Where's my locker? Thought those were organs at first? No, we don't have any organs. We need an organ donor. That was supposed to be a pun in my head, and it, it didn't. That's the private rooms. Ooh. What's going on? Crew rooms. Why do we have a separation between crew and private? This isn't a luxury liner. Barlow's room. This place is bigger than I thought it'd be. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad they have, like, a plain text version of it. Uh, it is 1949. Whoa, I was way off. Thought it was the 70s. I'm an organ donor for the onion who leaves all sorts of organs from various people. I read a great description in Genshin for an onion. It said that in revenge for cutting it, it will make you cry no matter how brave you are. All right, I know we're close to what we had been looking for, exclamation point. During the adaption sessions we hold here in the meeting room, I feel a guidance of some sort, something pointing towards the destination we seek. This could mean that we're in sync with the ancient source. The wearable Canarium. Oh, that's the title of the game! We're carrying and our left arm connects us, thus receives and thus receives sensations from the same ancient source. At the same time, I wonder whether there has been another soul during humanity's rel relatively brief period of existence who has been able to achieve such a feat. Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race, built it after passing through the stage of mechanized life on other planets. But its purpose remains unclear. Cool. Oh, hey, a spanner. Uh, crank? Handle. Let's take it. It's stuck. Uh, I can barely read that. Oh, there we go. Hidden plants of great antiquity. Oh, 
Oh, hey, brain stuff. Uh, scientifically, the pineal gland, also known as the pineal body, conarium or emphysibrii thingy, is a small endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain, ver vertebrate brain, named after the shape which resembles that of a pine cone. What? Seriously? It's located in the... What, you already said where it's located. It's located in the long... Latin word near the center of the brain between two hemispheres. The pineal gland produces really melatonin. Uh, a serotonin derived hormone which modulates the sleep patterns in both uh, circadian and seasonal cycles. By, but mystic traditions and philosophies ascribe it to a different role. Rene Descartes regarded it as the principal seat of the soul and the place in which all our thoughts are formed. And in the writings of Madame Blavatsky, why does that name sound familiar? It was explained with the Hindu concept of the third eye or the Ajna Chakra. As a part of the human body not fully understood today, it holds its deep-rooted place as one of the most important links between our material and continually degrading mystic nature. I have obtained a trophy item. Splendid. Let's take a look. That's... That's not what, that's not what I was... Okay, there we go. First... God, look how bright the icon for it is. I'm underwhelmed. Better look in here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I perhaps get those goggles? No. So we're in Antarctica. We're doing dream research. Oh, I thought that was Barlow. This was Blake. I guess we'll check out Barlow next. Locked. Never mind. Here's Frank Gil. Wait a second. Are you a fish person? Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Oh, this is... I'm Frank Gilman. Hmm. Here's Dr. Faust. Locked. Oh, pencils and pencil sharpeners. No Gilman is human, swear to Dagon. I eat human food, such as bun and ketchup. Oh, God. It's right through my face. Uh, bunk beds, which are always fun. Coat. Butterfly. Used, uh... Used plate. Some sort of geometric treasure. Cool. Ah, uh, why do you have your own baby picture? And this is also a really nice photo for uh, for 1949. Ah, God, my brain! Okay, there we go. Hey, this is cool. One of the composite, composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It has an open third eye in its forehead, as well as inside its hand. Wouldn't that be a fourth eye? Which I think indicates some state of knowing, because allusions to knowledge and elder things reoccurring all the time in almost every base relief we have discovered so far. All this leads me to believe the creatures inhabiting these halls acquired some kind of knowledge from the Elder Things, fabled creatures of the pyramid, primal myths. Uh, oh, there's more than one page. Several examples of composite sculptures raging through humanoid, reptilian, and shape. They were mostly damaged, generally in really bad shape. The lost parts were completed by the artist's imagination. Oh, this is the thing we saw. Okay. 
And behold, I'm pretty sure that right there is the uh, the Elder Sign. The abundance of five-pointed shapes is seen in the design structure we've come across. cannot be overlooked. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning and staring silently from above most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. Oh, wow, that's... Why does he have human teeth? Woof. Woof. The grotesque masonry caused an uproar with the countenance it wore on its re reptilian face. When we first found it residing within almost substantial darkness of the cave where it had been carved in eons past. Whoa, the purple prose, man. Some of the crew even claimed they had heard some muffled muffled laughter laughing sounds coming god it's messing me up coming from within the pine cone it the pine cone it was guarding or hiding with its humanoid hands has some symbol carved into it which we are yet to decipher it could be man bear pig i don't think man bear pig has human teeth I got another trophy. Let's see if that uh, trophy icon is as uh, easy to see as um, the other one. It's easier, even. Perhaps as we progress, each of the icons in our trophy uh, area will be better and better. Goggles. Okay, I'm kind of confused. Those goggles look pretty advanced. this one next. So the last guy had a baby picture of himself. Once again, for the 50s, this looks... This is a really good photo. Uh, pants? It's Naga leather. Oh, all right. Didn't realize this would be a reading stream. Although there's some break. These nightmares have become unbearable. Oh, oh I just realized I have two sections here. <coughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. After this session, I'm going to have to grab a cough drop. These nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now there should be a comma there. But now he is holding something in his hand, which I believe to be, that shouldn't be a comma there. Which I believe to be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again. But I see that's how you actually use it. But, but I still can't remember the contents during the working hours. Some. Sometimes I hear his voice through the radio. It's not in a form of meaningful sentences, but there should be a comma there, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate that's not how you use a semicolon, for I hate the very idea of the suspension I will probably be facing. Glued. Uh, things are creepy, yo. Oh, wait. Did I check the bottom drawer? No, I didn't. Hmm. Thought we agreed. No more wire hangers. Uh, I'm going this way. Seriously, it's 1950. Do you know how how long you had to hold? Wait, is that Slenderman in the back left? Okay, we're seeing this guy's life. What about his bunkmate? Whoa. Gloves and glasses on his bed? It's haphazard.
Oh, hey, we got something new. Oh, I cannot read that text, thank God. Ferguson's note on his dreams. All right, once again, give me a second. I really do need to cra grab a lozenge after this. I am inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore while I'm dreaming the vistas of grandeur, an alien prospect in unnatural disposition so vividly expressed in the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. That's not how you use a semicolon. If I only was endowed with artistic skill to describe my vision. All I know is that this became evident after the Conarium sessions had started. Even though I am not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed, while in an unconscious state, into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep, which is the proper way to use the comma. Ferguson. Why'd you, why'd you sign it? Why do so many people have pictures of themselves as children? What? No, that's not fair. This might be this guy's son. Okay, this is this guy's son. All right. My bad. My bad. I don't know why I thought it was... Why, I, why did I think this guy has a picture of his child? Or his, himself as a child? Oh, hey. Uh, John Dewitzki. Hip, hip, huzzah. Check out Dewitt's uh, thing. Maybe, uh, maybe see about his brother, Booker. rooms on this side, but first, yeah, what are we getting in here? Drugs, alcohol, cigarettes? It's locked. You're locked. Locked. <clears throat> okay, before I look further into that, um, we have a definite direction to go, which makes me want to go the other direction. Is there anything I missed while here? What about in here? Infirmary. Infirmary, sorry. Whoa! What's this way? The second torch if I need it. Electrical hazard. Hmm. Is that sparking? Yes it is. Canteen. Oh, hell yes. Oh, it smells awful in here. Uh, everything is turned to, I don't know, some kind of shogat sludge. Not that I know or have ever seen me as shogath. Black tea and coffee. I like both of these things and consider them necessary for existence. Herbal tea and sugar. It's stuck. It's stuck. It won't open. It's stuck. It's stuck. How many different voice cues did he do for It's Stuck? It won't open. It's stuck. It's stuck. It won't open. Okay, I think I've wrapped around. Hey, look, more sludge. Somebody was making brownies. Brownie, singular, in a pot. Some more sludge, some sludge, some sludge, some sludge, some sludge, more sludge, sludge all around. Sludge, 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 sludge. I'd be more concerned if that sludge was, like, in the uniform. And I'd be able to say, oh, fuck, everybody turned into sludge. As well as did the food and the fish, except for this. This was inedible to begin with, which is why it didn't turn into sludge, too. And look, here's some tomato sludge. It's stuck. Okay, 
well, fancy. Storage. Locked. Why is everything built like a maze as well? Oh my goodness. Uh let's let's not touch the Hitachi wand yet. Guess let's try the infirmary. Infirmary. The infamous infirmary. What? Pills here. Hmm. Oh, come on. Those are pages out of the Voynich manuscript. Yeah. Thank you. When I, when I want to read something, I would like to open it and read it. Thank you. So, why, okay, somebody made this cabinet like this so that it opens outward like this, which makes it really difficult to reach the pills inside. So the doctor who was stationed here probably grumbled a lot every time he grabbed something from this cabinet. Uh -huh. Hey, there we go. By signing this document, you will agree to the terms written below. False statements of knowingly or willfully including affidavits or other supporting documents submitted therein may be punishable. I hereby declare that I consent to perform my daily duties to the best of my abilities, listening to the judgment of the expedition leader De Faust, or Dr. Faust, ah, the, the eyeless man from our dreams and participate in a series of medical sessions as needed at the UAB. At the risk of participating in aforementioned medical sessions, have been fully explained to me any questions I have regarding the procedures, why they are necessary, its benefits and risks have been answered to my satisfaction. Therefore, I give my informed consent to perform all of the procedures by signing the statement of consent. Uh, my name is Gilman, and my name is right there, fourth down. So I have done this shit. Rock on. Hmm. Nothing here. I get a navy feel from this expedition. I don't know what it is. We've gone full circle. There's also, across from the session room over here, which is known as the meeting room, was another thing, the radio room. Cool. If we have stairs going up to the radio room, I can only imagine the elevator goes down to something. We've got a lot of stuff to look at here. Uh, report of the snowstorm. Okay. Morse code. That's good. I don't know Morse code. Hey TJ, if you're out there, did they have to teach? Did you have to learn Morse code when you entered into the Navy? Uh, I guess this is where we are. <clears throat> what camera? Oh, I can't take it. Nice camera. And it looks newer than 1950s. Oh, yeah, you did? Can you still use it? Like, can you still figure out Morse code? Ooh. Binoculars. I suspect I'll have to try. Yes? Well, I may need your help then. <laughs> this is Upward Expedition Base. Pequod, please come in. I repeat, this is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, do you hear me? There is someone who can hear me. Please, come in. 
Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Okay, there's got to be a way to raise your voice. Okay, dialogue volume should be all the way up. Let's try lowering the ambient. Let's try lowering the ambient to like, I don't know, 85, but the effects volume, 85. You know what? This is actually fine. Maybe lower the music volume, but that's not really the issue. The guy's just talking quiet. Look at the charts and put SOS. Well, I know SOS. Because it was like the, uh, the single most thing, most recognizable Morse code bullshittery going on. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 yeah. Because everybody knows SOS. Didn't they choose SOS to be extremely recognizable? Uh, there is a, a telegram thing here, but I, I don't think anything works right now, which is a pity. Because next time I, uh, I encounter Morse code, you probably won't be around. But due to electrical interference in outer space... Oh, I'm sorry, atmospheric conditions in outer space. The signal won't get through. It's a Plan 9 reference for all you Plan 9 junkies out there. What am I doing? I guess the only thing left to do is to head out to DeWitt's room. You need MacGyver. Blake. Burroughs, Faust, Gilman. Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Oh, that's right. This must be the DeWitt's locker. It's Hanson's. There it is, DeWitt. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? Oh! Oh my! Uh... Alright. Give, give me a sec, I need to drink, take a drink for this one. Okay. I've noticed a very curious and dangerous development in the psychological conditions of the whole crew that compels me to record this note in, as an initial diagnosis report. Now that's a run-on sentence. The problem is especially intense for three subjects. Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman. Hey, that's me! Whom I have just been inspecting closely since the onset of their psychological degradation. During the past two nights, the aforementioned subjects awoke screaming in their beds. In tandem! Thus affecting and demoralizing all the crew members. When I spoke to them per personally, I noticed some serious, there shouldn't be a comma there, I noticed some serious deviations in their behavioral patterns. As time progressed, I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. There's no need for a comma there. When really, when really pushed, they, there's no need for a comma, they clearly stated to behave like someone else, which led, that's the proper place to put it, which led me to believe I was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder. But it's too early to draw any conclusions. Okay, guys. Commas separate clauses of a sentence. Clauses are individual functional thoughts within the sentence, making the sentence as a whole a complete thought separated by commas. Other subjects are not too far a cry from their normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, Obvious. This is perfectly reasonable as far as use of commas. Their condition is getting worse day by day as the serious medical examination is, and serious medical ne examination is needed to be carried out on everybody displaying sub such symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and warned him that the conse uh, about the consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. Comma necessary here. Two clauses. He looked worried. Comma. 
but nevertheless has mentioned it to me. Uh, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. I'm glad I read this a second time. This is an addendum to the initial thought. Thus, two clauses. <laughs> ah, I wish I could shut this off. I wish I could shut this off. Not the game. The the proofreading. With the weather conditions, and I might be wrong is a thing. What if I'm wrong? If, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, tell me if I'm wrong. It's, it's the proper place to put these kind of things. With the weather conditions we have been having lately, it seems extremely unlikely that we shall receive professional help from the outside world or we'll be able to send anybody away for thorough medical examinations, which is only the same thing to do under the circumstances. This is a perfectly fine, if long, sentence. Okay, okay. Uh, let's make a quick save. Uh, into slot three. Sure. And let's take a break. <laughs> My voice could use some lubrication. And I think I'm going to need more water if I do another round of this. But, uh, yes, for everybody on, uh, on stream, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be back for YouTubes. See you, YouTubes. Hope you're enjoying this. All right.